PC gaming just hit a wall. Larian Studios just admitted that the era of brute force development is officially over, and the reason is something, well, I certainly didn't see coming. The AI boom has triggered a global RAM apocalypse. Prices have spiked over 500% in some regions, and Sven VK just confirmed that Larian is being forced to optimize for low-spec hardware years earlier than they had planned because 32 gigs of RAM is now a luxury most of us just can't afford. But what if this disaster is actually a secret win for you and for me? By targeting Valve's new Steam machine as a mandatory baseline, developers are finally being forced to fix their games instead of just throwing more hardware at the problem. Is the AI bubble about to make your PC obsolete? Or is Valve about to save us all? Let's break down Larian's confession and why the Steam machine just became the solution to one of PC gaming's biggest problems. Welcome to Disney Speedstorm, a fast-paced, hero-based combat racing game set on high-speed tracks from Disney's catalog of iconic Disney and Pixar worlds. You can play on PC, on console, on iOS, you can play on Android. That is a lot of places. So, Gameloft made sure that Disney Speedstorm has cross-play and cross-save so you can play with your friends no matter what system they're playing on. Disney Speedstorm has offline split-screen multiplayer as well as online custom lobbies with lots of different race types, including classic ones like Last Man Standing, Boss Challenges, Fog Challenge, and more. And now, to celebrate the release of Zootopia 2, they're bringing Judy, Nick, and Flash into the game. This update comes with brand new maps, and there's tons of themes and in-game events and more to discover. There's also going to be a speedrun event in partnership with speedrun.com where all you have to do is you act as the ZPD officers in order to catch a high priority suspect. So make sure that you tune in to participate between December 19th and 27th. Check out the link in the description down below or the QR code on screen right now to try Disney Speedstorm for yourself and make sure that you use the code on screen to claim some in-game gifts as well. Huge thank you to Gameloft for sponsoring this video. Now, back to the show. I think when you look at the fact that RAM prices are crazy, people are less prone to upgrade their hardware right now, and the Steam machine is poised to release with eight gigs of VRAM, I think that that is, it's a canary in the coal mine for developers. And what they're going to need to do is they're going to need to optimize their games for lower spec hardware. If they don't optimize their games for lower spec hardware, then ain't nobody gonna play their games. People are not going to play games that won't run very well on their hardware just because the devs want to target this in order to get a certain amount of visual fidelity, but instead, the everybody's graphics look like garbage because they're running these games that are meant for these specs, but everybody's computers only have these specs. And I completely understand how that puts devs in a tight spot. Now in the intro, I was trying to make a point about the idea that devs need to optimize hardware and it's more likely that it's going to happen now that uh, RAM, RAM prices are absolutely ridiculous. But it's not just RAM prices. Video card prices are already really expensive, but guess what? They're about to get a whole lot more expensive. Let me tell you why. Nvidia recently announced that they're going to cut the 50 series GPU production by 30% compared to last year. And the reason that they're cutting the GPU um, production by 30% compared to last year is because the RAM prices are just too expensive. And because the RAM prices are too expensive, they're just gonna make fewer cards. And if they make fewer cards, it's the same damn thing that I was talking about in the beginning of the video. There's gonna be less supply. Less supply, more demand, higher prices. At this point, I feel like PC gaming is becoming impossible for people to afford, especially if you don't already have a beefy PC. And it's already affecting how big publishers are targeting their games. For example, the 
the the at the game awards uh larian studios which i am a huge fan of larian studios uh, they announced Divinity, which is their, their latest CRPG. Uh, if you haven't played any of them before, make sure you check out Divinity Original Sin. Great game. Divinity Original Sin 2, another great game. Baldur's Gate 3. I mean, everybody's played that. That game's fantastic. So, And the game really struggled on weaker hardware. Anybody who tried to play it on the Steam Deck experienced this. Fast forward after a little while. Larian Studios optimized the game a little bit more. They started targeting the Steam Deck specifically. They even went the extra mile and put out a Linux version of the game that targeted the, the Steam Deck specifically in order to improve the frame rates in the third act, well, in all of the acts in that game. And that's usually how Larian Studios does it. Because they tend to work in early access, I think... All of their games that I've ever played of theirs have all released in early access. Um, they put out the game and they know that the game's not gonna run great on most people's hardware. But because they also know that by the time the game comes out, because games take so long to make, by the time it comes out, people will have upgraded their hardware and then it'll run just fine. They tend to leave optimization until later. Well, that's different this time around. In fact, Sven Vinke, the, hopefully I said his name right, the head guy over at Larian Studios had this to say. Basically what he's saying here is, look, we wouldn't want to start optimizing our game this early, but if we don't, we know that people's hardware is not going to handle this game very well. And based on normal projections, we would be okay. But because RAM prices are so expensive, and they're and they're going to get more expensive because GPUs are going to get more expensive. They're probably anticipating that way fewer people are going to be upgrading their systems. And if fewer people are going to be upgrading their systems, then the game is not going to run well. And that is going to cause problems for Larian Studios. And if you want a good example of this, I can't think of a better example of this than Monster Hunter Wilds. Monster Hunter Rise was incredibly popular. People loved that game. I'm sure that there were some that didn't like it, especially the Monster Hunter super fans. Those were the ones that don't like it when things get a little simplified. But for me, I had so much fun in that game. And so because I had so much fun in that game, I was really excited for Monster Hunter Wilds. And when that game came out on PC and also on PS5, it did not run very well, and it still does not run very well. Although I know that Capcom has recently put out like, I'm not gonna say a plan, but like a timeline for when they're going to be optimizing that game to make it run better. And I think that that's great, but it's something that has definitely hurt that game. If you look at its rating on Steam, a lot of times people are just complaining, not that the game isn't good, but that the game runs like absolute trash. And Larian Studios doesn't want to run into that same issue with Divinity. They want the game to run well, but they also know that the hardware just isn't there. And if it's gonna be really expensive, is not likely to get there. In fact, in the most recent Steam survey, the most common GPU that's out there is the RTX 4060. And if you go down one, I'm actually gonna look this up real quick because I can't remember the number. It, the next most popular GPU is the RTX 3060. Those are not super powerful cards. I mean, they're more powerful than what most people use, but it is the most popular card that's out there. Well, with the cards getting more and more expensive and the RAM getting more and more expensive, Larian can't depend on people having a beefy 50 whatever card by the time this thing comes out. And so they're gonna have to start targeting lower specs now. And here's where it's actually kind of good news for the Steam machine. The Steam machine ships with eight gigs of VRAM. And one of the things that I think that Valve is trying to do with the Steam Machine is give devs a target. This is where you should aim when you're trying to make your game. Aim for it to look awesome on this system and all the other systems, it'll start to look better on as well. And this is not something that's exclusive 
to Larian Studios. I saw this article recently, it's about the game Witchfire. And basically the dev said, every publisher should target the Steam Deck. And it's not because the Steam Deck is super powerful, but it's because it makes your game run better on everything else out there. Because you're targeting a low end system, all of the high end systems can take advantage of those. They can get better, better frame rates. They can increase all of their settings and they can have a better experience too. By targeting lower spec hardware, devs can make sure that everybody gets a better experience. And I think it's easier to do now than it's ever been. And here's the reason why, and this is gonna sound a little weird, but graphics, they just look good. Like, I can't think of the last time that I played a game and I thought, man, those graphics really look like garbage, right? Pretty much graphics look good across the board and they have for a really long time. So if publishers and devs start targeting lower spec hardware, knowing that the games, they're gonna run just fine on higher end hardware too, and they still look pretty good, everybody wins. This is one of the things that makes the Steam Deck so important, even if you don't have one. This is one of the things that makes the Steam Machine so important, even if you don't have one. Because if devs and publishers are targeting that low spec hardware, then pretty much no matter what you have, you're going to have a better experience. But what do you guys think? Do you think that this RAM issue is a short-term thing or do you think it's a long-term thing? Do you think it's gonna make graphics cards more expensive? And do you think that AMD is going to be able to try and step in where Nvidia is letting things go or you think it's gonna be pretty much affecting everybody. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below that like button. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. From the Nerd Nest, I'm Bill. Stay rad, and thanks for watching.